So, hey guys, welcome to my review of this TI-84 Plus calculator. Uh, this is just the Plus version, so it's not the colored edition, and it's not the silver edition. Now, first going over what it comes with, it comes with the calculator itself, um, a cover, this little pamphlet telling you how to use it, all the basics. Your warranty information, a micro USB to large USB uh, cable, and then a micro USB to micro USB cable. It came with four cheap AA batteries, but I suggest switching them out to some better batteries like these Duracell ones. So I'm gonna pop them in and Turn it on. It takes four double, I mean, not double A, triple A. Yeah, that's what I meant. It takes four triple A batteries. Um, goes in the back here. You do not need a screwdriver to take the cover off. So, yeah. It comes with rubber bumpers here so when you put it on the table it doesn't slide around there are also rubber bumpers here on the cover texas instruments so yeah this is made by texas instruments as the name ti84 implies um so yeah here's your micro usb cable or not cable the port where you can plug your micro usb cable into as you can see and then here is an in and out port input output port not in and out but anyways uh what that does is you can link it to other calculators via a cable that you can buy on their website so no it is not a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack looks sort of like it but anyways uh it does not come with that input output cable which i find pretty interesting since it includes the port I'm not too sure what to think of that. But this calculator has, calculator has lots of features. It is approved on almost all the major standardized tests. Uh, you can see it, just turn it on here. You know it's on if there's this flashing black box thingy. Yeah, I'm now gonna switch to another view behind the camera so I can better show you all the features. So I'm actually coming at you from above right now. Sorry about the terrible lighting, but anyways, moving on. Your on off button is right here. Now you may notice that there are, oh gosh, the focus. That there are blue and green things above each key. Now you can use those by pressing second and it'll register second with that up arrow. And then you can press anything, for example, this, which will normally turn it on, will turn it off if second is selected. Now that second key only works for one click, so if you want to do another thing that second did, you have to do that again. Clear button, enter button, and by the way, the second thing works same for alpha, except it shows an A instead of the up arrow. So yeah, you have, let's just type a whole bunch of stuff. You have arrows here, arrow keys for your stuff. And using the up arrow, you can actually go through your history. And using the clear button, you can clear your history. I'm just gonna, There we go. Okay. So anyways, moving on. This calculator is a graphing calculator, so you can use it to graph. Now, this is not a tutorial. This is just a review, so I will not be teaching you how to graph. But it is capable of making graphs and tables. It is also capable of being programmed. You can download programs onto it from a computer via the micro USB cable port you can find here, once again. 
but you can also program it, which is very cool. Now, there are many tutorials online of how to program something that you might want. I just have a few here. First one is the radius of a circle, com circumference. By the way, these do not come free program. Uh, I don't know what this is. The discrim. I forgot about that. Probably some algebra thing. Pythagorean theorem. Quadratic formula. It's quad form. And simplify radical, I think, is the last one. And I'll just demonstrate here. It might give me, like, something that isn't possible. Yeah, no, no way you're into it. But anyways, it does work. And I'm just gonna show you guys the code for one of them. This is the quadratic formula. So you can see, you write your own code. Once again, you can find out how to do this online. Now be sure, I just wanna warn you. After you finish programming, whatever you do, do not click clear to quit the program because that will delete that line of code. Instead, if you wanna hit second, quit. Oh, second mode, which will activate the quit function which will just quit out of it. There we go. So yeah, that's gonna be my basic overview and review. By the way, it is plastic, not metal, to keep it nice and lightweight. And it is fairly compact, you can see the size of my hand. Fairly compact, it'll fit in any backpack easy. It might not fit in your pocket, but I don't see why you need it to. And it should also fit in the binder in a pocket of a binder, although that may damage it over time. So anyways, this has been my review. Thanks for watching. And leave suggestion, suggestions down below if you'd like me to do any tutorials on specific functions or programming tutorials, stuff like that. But anyways, thanks for watching.